Alright, so I wanted to do something a little bit differently today. Um, as you can see, this isn't any gameplay. There's the, there's a, there's no gameplay here. That means it's just me. I'm, uh, I'm all you get. But what you see in front of you is the reason for today's video. I am going to be making a tier list ranking all of Lethal Company's scrap items. And uh, for the sake of this video, I'm only going to be considering how the scrap and how the items affect gameplay in a vanilla or non-modded state. Because I could go on and on about how mods just increase the level of fun in Lethal Company. But, once again, sake of the video, vanilla items. Alright. Airhorn, easy S tier. Especially when you spin really fast in the circle and it makes the funny noise. Yeah, I know. Some people might be upset about that because of how annoying it is, but I'm the person that does the annoying, the, or the, the annoyance. So, suck it. Next up, the apparatus. I'm gonna put that one in A tier, mainly because it's even better when you and your friends are stuck inside the facility after someone randomly pulls it, and then it goes all dark. You know. Chances are, you know, at least one of you will get out. In contrast to that, the beehive, that, that has to go C tier, you know? I'd say it's in the same uh, risk and reward as the apparatus, except uh, nine times out of ten, your friend is going to die trying to get that beehive inside the ship. Yeah, I know there's a method to it, but I don't know how- if I had a nickel for how many times you know, someone has died in my run from trying to get a beehive. Uh, let's just say I'd have a lot of nickels. Now, I'm gonna go a little across the board here and pick. You know what? Let's, uh, let's do the rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Also gonna go in C tier. Mainly because it's. You know, no. B tier. It's a rubber duck. It don't do much. It don't. Is not worth much, but it's also not heavy. Man, this is rubber duck. Who doesn't like rubber ducks, you know? Next on the list, let's go with the bell. Now, the bell is an interesting one. Mainly because, you know, it doesn't make any noise. There's there's no bell to the bell. You know? So that's that's leaning me to put it towards you know, D tier, but for right now, I think I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's it's worth a decent amount, if uh, if I remember correctly. But you know, at the same time, it is still pretty heavy, but it only takes one slot. It's not a it's not two handed. Let's grab let's grab the lamp. The lamp is also a pretty tricky one to rank. You know, it's worth a lot. Does require two hands to grab. But the light that comes off of it is just it's so blinding, it takes up so much space. I think I'm gonna put that also in C tier. You know what? Let's grab let's grab the old mustard container or its proper name, the you know, the chemical canister, whatever the fuck it is. Chemical canister, it's heavy, takes two hands, but it's worth a decent amount. There's not too many too many downsides about it, but it looks like mustard, you know? Who don't like mustard? At least a little bit of mustard, you know, on a burger sometimes. All right. Now, the cookie mold pan, honestly, I'm gonna put in D tier. Why is it that a cookie mold pan weighs so goddamn much? First of all, that's not even a cookie mold pan. I like, like, well, it might be a mold pan, but it looks more like a muffin pan, and it still weighs so goddamn much. Airbrush, also gonna put in D tier, you know? It, it's not heavy, but it's not, it's not cool. It, and it's not worth a lot, you know? You can't do anything with it. Unlike the rubber duck, it makes some noise, you know? The bell, the lamp, and the hive all are worth a good amount. But it, it just, it's just there. It, it is. Cup. I don't remember how much the the mug is worth. 
I don't get the mug too often. Um, I like coffee, so I'm going to put that in C tier. Now, let's go back to the beginning of the list. We got the bottles. Bottles, I'm going to put in B tier. You know, they're old reliable, in my opinion. Same with the engine. Where's the engine? Old reliable. Worth a moderate amount. Takes two hands. But, you know, they're always there for you. You can find them fucking out anywhere. I'd enjoy the bottles a lot more, and I've told my friends about this. If, depending on how high you drop the bottles, they would break and, uh, and lose value. I know that sounds awful. I think it would be really funny if you're dropping dropping items off the edge to your friends, you drop the bottles from high up, and they just shattered. Excuse me while I take a drink of Gamer Subs. Please sponsor me. Oh my god, there's still so much left. I feel like I've been talking for so long. Alright, let's do some let's do some easy ones. Present A tier. You know, I know I said I was gonna strictly talk about vanilla lethal company, but I, I have to acknowledge the lethal presence mod. Basically what it does is it mods the presence to allow monsters, turrets, and mines to come out of the presence. And if that were the case, I'd put that in S tier. But because it's vanilla, it's going into A tier. Can still give you a good item, but not as good as if it, is, if it was modded. Homemade flashbang. Easy S tier. I fucking love these things. I love... I don't, I don't know what is about it, but the popping sound followed by the immediate blindness is just so funny to me. And I have gotten plenty of moments with the homemade flashbang that uh, that I think you should go you should go check out. And if I remember, I'll put a clip right here. Nice. Yo. Same, no. We gotta save those. My ears are ringing. All right. Okay. Let's see. Clown horn. Now, as good as the clown horn is, I can't put it in the same tier as the air horn. It's not as good. The, the air horn is just ring supreme. But clown horn still sounds funny, sells for a good amount. What's what's not to love? Hair dryer. B tier. You know, it's almost the same as the air horn, but it's just a hair dryer. It, it doesn't make any funny noise. It's just it just. <laughs> You know. Okay, let's get some let's get some trash horns out of out of here. Robot. Easy F tier. I don't care if you can pick it up and drop it till it shuts the fuck up. Anything that makes that much noise in my face and waves its arm around, go in an F tier. So, uh, do I put the do I put the teeth with it as well? That's the question. Because the teeth, the teeth aren't as intrusive, you know? But they're still loud as fuck when they're on. Huh. No, they're, they're going D tier. The robot's an F tier because of how fucking large it is. Whoopee cushion, A tier. You know, you walk over, it makes a fart sound. It, it, it's stupid humor. I mainly enjoy it from seeing all the clips of it getting people killed from the eyeless dogs. Now, the remote... In my personal opinion, is C tier. Mainly because I have those types of friends that when they find the remote, they will spam left click and cause the light in the ship to constantly go on and off. Old phone. Now, the old phone is interesting, and it honestly, the first time I picked it up, it kind of spooked me, not gonna lie. The, the voices that come out of this thing, and like the screams or whatever. Not, uh, not very pleasant. And that's gonna go in, that's why it's gonna go in C tier, you know? It, it's not as, it's not as fun as, uh, the items in S, A, or B. But, it, you know, it's, it's on the same level as the remote. What, what else can I say? That makes me want to move the lamp down to D tier, though. You know, same with the, the robot, it's just intrusive. It, lessens my enjoyment of the game whenever I find one. 
Only reason it's not an F tier with the robot is because of how much it sells for. Now, the yield sign. Fuck the yield sign. It is going into F tier. Why the hell is a yield sign so goddamn heavy? I, I don't get it. I hate them. I sell them. And that makes me go straight to the stop sign, which I'm going to put in C tier. You know, it's a, it's a weapon, but it's not nearly as heavy as the yield sign. And it's also a stop sign. It looks better. And, you know, it's an octagon, not a stupid upside down triangle. Fight me. Paintings, in my opinion, are pretty A tier. You know, they're worth a lot. I get that they are all, they are kind of intrusive on vision, and based upon- I don't want to be a hypocrite, I'm actually going to move it down to B tier. You know, I'm going to move it to high B tier though. Worth a lot, good money, solid all around. Not much more to be said. The cash register though, hmm. See, it's not as intrusive as the painting, but it is a lot heavier. Uh, you know, I gotta put it in A tier. It's just worth, it can be worth so much, and whenever you find one, you know it's a good day. Same with the gold bar. I've only found one gold bar in my playthroughs of like, I have like 50 hours on the game, which isn't unsubstantial by any means, but it's not crazy. But when I found it, I was so ecstatic, especially with how much it was worth. Jar of Pickles. S tier. You don't like a good pickle, you know? And they're, they're worth a good amount too. Gold cup. A tier. You know, it's worth a lot. Not that heavy. I mean, it is heavy. Don't get me wrong. Especially for a cup, if I remember correctly. But it, it's it's worth it, you know? It only takes up one hand. Same with, same with the wedding ring, although it is not heavy, unlike the, uh, the golden cup. So, why not? soda is what I'm gonna do next. Now the soda is also tricky because it's also worth a lot. A decent amount if I, you know, if my memory serves me right, which a lot of this probably doesn't. Soda is gonna go B tier strictly because you can't even open it and drink it. If you could open and drink the soda and give it, it gives you like a, a stamina boost or something or like it made you, your character burp, perfect. But it don't be here. Let's get some of the riffraff out of the way. Pan, whisk, flask. Anything else I want to put in there? Not really. You know these these three items. They're just they're just kind of meh. You know there's nothing great about them. You know, it's a dustpan, it's a metal whisk, and it's a flask. That that's that's all they are. That's it. Nothing more to be said. Lollipop on that matter. Gonna go in C tier. Mm. B tier. If I remember right, which <laughs> I know I've, I, I need to put a counter on screen for how many times I've said this. My memory probably doesn't serve me right, but a, you know, it sells for a good amount. Hey, it's me from the future. I was just looking back at some of the values of the items to see whether or not what I strictly said in this video were true or not. Um, about the, the, the lollipop, or the, the proper name is Candy, um, I was really wrong. It sells for fuck all. Its max value can be 36, and it weighs 11 pounds. With that being said, if I was able to, I'd move it down to D tier, but past me, you know, he's an idiot. Don't listen to that guy. Anyways, back to the video. Now, ooh, I forgot about the large axle. The large axle is going to go right in the middle of the bottles and the engine. You know, it, it's, it's another old reliable. They're always there for you. Up next, let's, let's, let's take the fish. The fish is going to go one tier under the rubber ducky. You know, it's it's a it's a toy fish. It's okay, you know, one-handed. But it's it, it's it's just a fish. Ooh, and I forgot about the the big bolts. That's also another, just another old trusty. You know, it's always you can always find big bolts lying around. You know, these these four, I should make an old their own tier for them because 
they're really just the bread and butter of Lethal Company. You either find bottles, large axles, big bolts, or engines. Alright, up next, the Rubik's Cube. I'm gonna put that in the same tier as the Toy Fish. Just, maybe, just you know what? No. These guys deserve to be in this group of just riffraff. You can't play with the Toy Fish. If you could throw it, that'd be great. You can't play with the Rubik's Cube. You know, if you could try to, like, if you could just even spin the sides, that would be, make it so much better. Um, same with the, the seven ball, or the, ma the magic seven ball, I guess you could say. Um, let's see, a magnifying glass? It, it can go in C tier, because you can actually, kinda, sorta, use it as a magnifying glass. Like, it, it actually works, and the dev put some effort into actually making that. So, the metal sheet, I'm going to put that actually one below this the group of uh, old reliable because it's just it's just kind of kind of eh like like the rest of these these tiers but it's also one of the the classic items that you'd find pills i'm gonna put the pills in a tier i would love for you to be able to take these pills and don't get me wrong i'm not a druggie by any means um but you should be able to take the pills and do something similar to the soda and give you like a stamina boost or like it heals you. But if you start to take too many, you just overdose and die on the spot. The the wheel or the steering wheel or whatever this is, it's gonna go on the the same level as the metal sheet for the same exact reason. It just it just kind of does its own thing. Same with the tea kettle, toothpaste can go in D tier. It's just, it's just an item, you know, it's like a common household item, except for, like, maybe the flask. Perfume? A tier, because it sells for a good amount. Laser pointer? S tier. Eh, A tier. I like the laser pointer, I don't like it as much as the homemade flashbang pickles or air horn. You know, the reason I like the laser pointer is just because it's fun to point at things. I am a, I am a simple man. Simple man? Simple man with a simple mind. Now, I specifically saved these two for last. We have the happy mask and the tragedy mask. These two items single-handedly, I feel, change the way Lethal Company. Maybe not not maybe not the way it's played, but it added so much more to Lethal Company in general. You know, everyone thought, oh, comedy masks, you know, it's like, it's like a old theater production. But when, no one realized when the dev added this to the game, that when you put the masks on, it create, or like, it could possess you and take over your body and add, it added a new enemy to the game. For that reason, I'm putting both of them in S tier. It is, like, they have single-handedly changed how I enjoy the game. They've made it so much more terrifying. You know, you see someone walking at you in the dark, and then you see a mask on their face. If you don't have a shovel, you're almost fucked if you're inside. You know, they'll keep pursuing you unless, you, you know, you're able to get away, get outside. Now, if you have a shovel, pretty easy to take them out but like i said one of the best one of the best things they've added to the game along with the homemade flashbang but with that i think that is my completed list you know if you disagree let me know down in the comments and uh, i'd love to hear what uh, your opinions but the this this is my ranking and if you liked this tier list and want me to, uh, want me to do like the Lethal Company monsters or something like that, let me know as well. Either by you know like liking the video, subscribing, or just saying it in the comments as well. But with that, see you later.